I had been personally waiting for the celebs to speak. I mean, it had been about a week and you didn't see specifically calls for ceasefire or mentioning anything about what was going on. I think the most famous person that maybe said something, I think Rami Youssef posted photos from a shoot or a trip that he went on to Gaza. Like, I think that's, that is the most we got. Obviously, John Cusack, obviously, Susan Sarandon. I put them a little bit <laughs> in a different allies. category. They're a stalwart ally. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're allies. You we know, have their signature already as like a template. Like. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I got to get John on this show at some point. <laughs> I could get um, John on this show. I'll tell okay, you. hell yeah. That dude retweets me all the time. But anyway, so other yeah. than that, I was like, who else? And you even saw, again, like even Arab American, uh, like, uh, celebrities and, and, and South Asian celebrities sort of quiet on this issue. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously say nothing of DJ Khaled, who I feel like everyone's like, yo, when will DJ Khaled say anything? <laughs> That's going to be his biggest hit to watch. You'll see. Oh my God. He's going to come in like a year of bombing. He'll be like, it's time to write a song for peace. Like, <laughs> oh dude. Um, and but, another one that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this was interesting, though. Um, I'll bring it up on our side here. Because this then came out, I think, earlier this week, um, which is this call for a ceasefire, artists for ceasefire, specifically saying ceasefire, again, a dirty word in Congress, a dirty word unless you, you know, are part of the squad, um, a word that was said to, uh, warned about in the State Department, do not say this word, do not say de-escalation, but a word, of course, that the United Nations has called for um, and that the, United, that the United States vetoed. So this is, you know, artists and advocates, da 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 da, da. they're calling, they say U U United States Congress, UNICEF, Doctors Without Borders, the Red Cross, they're saying, please, international law, stop the killing stop the bombing um they also ask for a safe release of hostages um who if anyone knows anything about hostage situations usually bombing the places where hostages are doesn't help um and there were a lot of folks i mean adam mckay that's sort of a you know a no-brainer but Alyssa milano happy to see that uh ani defranco i mean come on girl you bit you like Got people woke <laughs> to Palestine. Fuck out of here. No, but um, you know, um, obviously Basim Yusuf, oh, but boots, like of course, boots, of course. But you've got look, Kate Blanchett. Let's go with some A-listers. Um, oh. I mean, well, Diplo. Do you got Dua Lipa on here, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, um, she's always, she's always. Florence Pugh. Here we go. That's a B plus A. That's an A-lister. Hassan Minhaj. Uh, yeah. Jeremy Strong. Very exciting. Ilana Glazer. Again, progressive Jew right there. Kristen Stewart. Pretty good. Macklemore, bro. Oh, oh he did a whole on. thing. Like he did a. Did he do a song? He did something. He like, did like an anti-racist song. Or Mandy Patinkin. This is good. Mahershala Ali. Mark Ruffalo. I mean, that was mm. a no-brainer. But like. Oscar Isaac, Natalie Merchant, girl, I see you. Um, so like Riz Ahmed, so Sandra O, oh, on and on and on. Mm. This is really, really good. That but then cool. interestingly, just the other day, there's another celebrity oh. open letter. Yeah. And right. they are asking for something. They're asking for a full release of all the Hamas hostages, which is weird because they're sending it to Joe Biden. <laughs> like, Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know how many... Uh... What 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 car does Joe drive? That is it a Trans Am or IROC Z? What is it? But uh, I don't know how many hostages he could fit in there. <laughs> but he should he should go down and, and release the hostages. How many can fit on his like you know three speed bike? Like yeah. one in a little basket, um, carrying folks around. Uh, no, so these are like maybe arguably bigger names. You got Madonna, you got Gwyneth, you got Bradley Cooper. That is, you got Chris Rock. And the letter is weird. It echoes, again, sort of an unproven claim about a bunch of beheaded right. infants, um, which has, again, not been proven. Um, then And then there's like, we want, thank you for un your unshakable moral conviction and leadership and support for the Jewish people who have been terrorized by Hamas since the group's founding, yada, yada, yada. We it's, all- It's such an insult to the hostages to, to bomb them. And also to erase here, it says 17 years that the group has been governing Gaza. That's the 17 years that Gaza was sealed by Israel. This is just a vehicle to use celebrities who don't know better. Uh, in this case, uh, these celebrities don't know better to as a vehicle to erase 
uh, the siege of Gaza that's occurred for that 17 years right. and also apartheid <laughs> since, right. 40, you know, 48. Absolutely. This, this was like, yo, we will give all y'all access to like, you know, the biggest uh, venues in Tel Aviv the next time you come tour. <laughs> yeah, Bradley Cooper, who did that movie of that war criminal uh, erasing his war crimes. What's his name? Kyle. Is uh, this where he put on a prosthetic nose? No, that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. No. You want to talk about anti-Semitic? Yeah. <laughs> Bradley Cooper with a goddamn prosthetic nose, you fucking anti-Semite trying to be a Jew with a prosthetic <laughs> nose. He's like already kind of has a long nose. So it's just like the fact that he had to add, he's like, no, I must, I must, I need, I need enhancements. Um, there's a bunch of other, and it's funny because you wonder like what of these, like Jessica Biel, Zoe Saldana, like did they not get, like which one came first? Are there people who signed the first one who are like, fuck, you know? Um, but anyway, it, it's neither here nor there, but I think you're exactly right that it's not that Gwyneth was like, I'm penning a letter. It was like, this was a deliberate PR move from Israel that, and they got a, all, all these A-listers to sign on. It reminds me, and I know he, he is canceled in my book and fuck him in my book because of his anti-trans hate, but of, you know, the famous Chappelle bit of taking oh, yeah. hostages who are brown, you know, oh, like yeah. Yeah. that you don't take brown <laughs> hostages because nobody negotiates for them. And then it's just so like biting and scary because you're like, yeah. look at these you know, almost 200 hostages still who, you know, despite the celebrities cries to release them, it's like, who is actually working to release them? You know, um, are they seen as expendable? Um, and that uh, formerly and still canceled comic uh, Dave Chappelle did scream at his fans mm. um, after uh, someone in the audience accused uh, basically said boo when he accused Pal uh, Israel of, of war crimes. And oh, then he was like, this. Yeah, wow. he was like, get out of my show. What are you doing? <laughs> wow. Um, fans walk out at, after Dave Chappelle accuses Israel of war crimes, U.S. of supporting slaughter. Yeah. Of course, this is a certain headline, but uh, other headlines are like, Dave Chappelle heckled and then handled it. And apparently there were there was a lot of applause. Yes, he he's mm. he's doing stadium, so he walked some of the audience. Just, but a lot of a lot no, of no one tell Dave there's there's trans Palestinians. Like do not <laughs> yeah, tell him. No do not tell him. him. This must be protected. <laughs> oh God. Um, you know, and that that is so sort of, I don't want to go into all of them, but like, you know, you've got in terms of the comedians, you've got Amy Schumer kind of losing her goddamn mind. And oh, I have dude. to say, this was this was the kind of the one of the worst that she posted on Instagram. So John Marco Sorezi, who's been on this show multiple times, he finally tweeted this out. He's like, <laughs> this is like, you know, a star of David. And it says, first they came for the LGBTQ oh, and I stood yeah. up because love is love. Then they came for immigrants and I stood up because families belong together. Oh. Then they came for black community and I stood up because black lives matter. Then they came for me, but I stood alone because I am a Jew. And it's just like, oh. there's so much wrong with this the transactional solidarity there there's people who are like why did i ever mm. give to black lives matter why did i ever support mm. them if they're not gonna you know be in full support of israel but then it's like did no one stand is no one standing up for israel i'm sorry <laughs> like there i is, miss there, that there is a, a, a nuance here um that sure explains but doesn't justify right like what they are doing like what how, why they're so triggered one mm -hmm. of it is kind of interesting because early on there were images of the hand gliders yes and early on there was this image of a bulldozer passing the fence um and to gazan palestinians in gaza uh i don't like to say gazans because and a lot of palestinians tell me don't say gazans because they were all over everyone in Gaza used to be all over Israel and right. then they were pushed into this, in this concentration area. Right, right. Or area or I don't enclave know. as okay. according to a lot of media. Enclave <laughs> was territory. Yeah. Camp, some camp. Ghetto. Camp? Uh, maybe camp. Uh, mm -hmm. prison yeah. unclear. Um so yeah, so they were pushed in there and uh initially a lot of groups like BLM Chicago and all these other groups celebrated a prison break. Uh, right. They didn't they didn't they're not connecting it to these stories that were coming out. Our media is very siloed and one group is getting this story and another group is getting the prison break story. Right. And it's an image of a person leaving an open air prison with a hand glider. It's a kind of incredible. But putting together the later information that came out, maybe that guy was the guy who went into that 
the a home the, and murdered uh, people. Yeah, yeah. And, and they murdered people. And also, there's also this varied uh, response. If you hear the Israeli news, they are interviewing people who had their homes broken into, and some of them, of course, murdered, horribly hurt, threatened, kidnapped, and others saying, yeah, no, my guys were like, I'm just Muslim. I, I'm never going to hurt you. Uh, can mm -hmm. I have a banana? They seemed hungry. That's what they said. Or they took my car or they asked for the car. And my husband says, no, I need it for work. And then they just left. So there was like very, it's a lot of the focus here is on Hamas, but there's all of these things were part of a lot of different groups. And in particular, there's a group, uh, there, there are groups, youth groups who are not driven ideologically, religiously, who are like defend their neighborhoods, especially in the West Bank. Mm -hmm. um, who just get obliterated by Israeli forces and settlers and are, are, are probably among the most favored in Palestini by Palestinians uh, in terms of resistance. So it's a, it's a very complicated thing. I get some people seeing people celebrating those images initially being like, wow, they're celebrating what Hamas did there. Uh, but no, we need to expand this conversation. We need to understand each other more um, right and it was taken down and it also yeah it was crass and stupid but it was also like one group in one city in one thing and again i say this to everybody it's like it doesn't if you see a sign you don't like you don't have to agree with every single sign you see um you know it is and it is very different than like um a swastika at a maga rally like if there's a swastika at a mat if there's a swastika I think we all know you probably shouldn't associate with that, especially if they're using a swastika positively. Yeah, you don't really associate. But I do think that, like, if there's like, if you don't, if you're not, I think Zionism is a great word that people get really hung up on. If you're not ready or you don't like when people say anti-Zionist because that feels to you mm -hmm. like you're equating that with like, oh, Israel doesn't have a right to exist, which doesn't mean that at all. And Israel does exist and it will continue to exist. The question is under what conditions and who is included and who lives mm -hmm. in occupation, right? Like. You don't. You, it's okay to still go to that protest just because someone says I don't like Zionism doesn't mean you also have to like utilize that exact same phrase. They, they apply that to themselves when they go to an Israel protest and someone is saying their own version of River to the Sea, which apparently includes also Jordan and parts of Egypt. <laughs> so these right wingers, they they don't they don't agree with that, but they're in a rally with that person. Oh, I mean, come on, we don't don't even get me started. I just think it's like we get so hung up on semantics in this country. Like people are arguing that the river to the sea line is means genocide or that it, it like that people want you dead. People are being genocided right now. I'm sorry that a slogan hurt your fucking feelings. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, are your feelings buried under rubble? Are your feelings uh, have been decapitated by a bomb? Are your feelings in a hospital? Yeah. Are your feelings in a fucking incubator right now? losing electricity i'm sorry about your feelings yeah clearly i feel very strongly about yeah. I mean, it. it's, it's, in our rallies we've had <laughs> family members people related to those who were killed uh, israelis who were killed and lost as well as palestinian but those families who people are parading right now are saying in israel are saying that the israeli government abandoned them that are they're yeah. using their name and their their story for war that they're not talking to them they're not supporting them at all in fact it's an arab village a palestinian village in north of israel who is the site of one of its worst massacres during uh Nabka, right the worst massacres and they're opening their doors to jews who need housing after that attack Wow. This is much more, uh, you will find everything you're looking for in this thing. It's, it's yes. your choice what you decide is representative of everything. Right. Meanwhile, there is a reality on the ground, and that is, you know, 5,000 Palestinians dead and counting. Yes. But you're right. There's massive dissent in Israel, too. And there's dissent from, from. I mean, again, we want to paint it with either left or right, or they are, are they against the occupation or not? But in the immediate, it is people, like you're saying, who feel like the government has abandoned their yeah. family members who might still be alive. Um, and the release of recent hostages, I think, should offer some hope. Yeah. But man, it would be we would be lying if we said that that Israel and the United States were doing everything in their power to bring the hostages yeah. back. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.